PlayStation Vita offers the biggest library of first and third party gaming franchises, along with applications for videos, music, and social networking. In addition to all this great content and features, we are now bringing PlayStation Plus to PlayStation Vita. And for more, here's Ray Bautista. As soon as the Plus Instant Game Collection was announced at this year's E3, it became an immediate success. Since June 2012, PlayStation Plus members have received a little over 24 PlayStation 3 games to play and enjoy simply by subscribing to the service. We are very excited for PlayStation Plus to be coming to the Vita. What gamers are going to notice immediately when the program launches on November 20th is a majority of the key PlayStation Plus perks that are available on the PS3 will now also be available on the Vita. Essentially what that means is for the same low price that members are currently paying for now, or for a little less than $5 a month, PlayStation Plus members will now gain access to an additional instant game collection specifically for the Vita. They're also going to have a lot more opportunities to take advantage of exclusive game discounts, and we're also going to hook them up with an additional 1 gigabyte of cloud storage space, automatic software updates, and trophy sync. Now that Plus is coming to the Vita, it was very important for us to make sure that we match the same quality and diversity of the instant game collection that PlayStation 3 gamers have grown accustomed to. And I'm very happy to say that I believe we've done just that. Similar to what we've done on the PlayStation 3 side, we're going to be adding in new games every month to the collection, so there will always be something awesome and cool for you to play. So here we have the email app. It's a brand new app for version 2.00. You have a simple way of adding your email account. If you have Gmail or if you have Yahoo, you can also click other and then input it manually to get your own email account in there. You can put up to five email accounts and you could list up to 5,000 contacts in your email and then get email alerts from your notification that will pop up and you'll be able to access your email directly from there as well. And now the content manager has been vastly improved. Uh, you have an option of connecting with your PS3, PC, or online storage through PS Plus. A new thing is you can connect wirelessly with your PC and be able to uh, transfer content that way. In videos, we now have the capability of showing 1080p playback, where you can access any 1080p video that matches up to the specs for the Vita, and you can play back on the device. It also supports closed captioning. With the browser app, we've uh, made some significant improvements. We've, uh, we have an upgraded rendering engine, and we are optimizing more of the GPU processing power. Improve the content display performance by upgrading the HTML5 and JavaScript engine. We added a nice little update with a tweet, where you can now tweet your URL. We hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of System Software Update version 2.00 for PlayStation Vita. For more updates and more information, check out the PlayStation Blog.